here. We're going to get back with another scary story. This one's called The Man in My Mind. And hold on, let me just zoom it in so I have the correct picture. Here we go. Me and my friend Zach were at the park doing parkour. Zach was wearing a green shirt tucked into his light brown pants. He always had messy, dirty blonde hair, even when he brushed it. It was about 3 p.m. when we took our first drink from our camel pack. We took a rest for a while so we could catch our breath. Hey, I said, out of breath. You want to go over to the playground? Let's go, Zach said, taking a drink. That moment, I heard a growing buzzing sound. Do you hear that? I asked. Hear what? Zach said, confused. Before I could answer, I fell to the ground, writhing in pain and screaming in agony. Over the screeching, I could hear the wailing of ambiences and the lights of the sirens. Everything went dark. I woke up in a strange room. It was completely white with no posters or windows to give any color. I tried to use my arms to get up, but they won't budge. I looked down only to find I was in a straitjacket. I let a low moan of horror when a man walked into the room. He was dressed in a white shirt tucked into his pants. His hands and face were painted white too. And he was oddly bald. Who are you? I asked in a state of wonder. He didn't answer. I tried again, but this time more demanding. Who are you? Still, no answer. As he walked closer, I realized that he was holding a bowl. It was white too. In it was rice with some milk and a white spoon. He fed it to me, showing no expressions. When he was done, he walked out as silently as he came in. The only sound was the door making a little thud when it closed. I shut my eyes. My mind was racing. Who was that? Why am I here? Am I ever going to see my family again? What happened to Zach? As these thoughts repeated in my mind over and over, I finally found sleep. I woke with a start and a gasp, not with horror, but surprise and happiness which soon faded. A man walked into the room. He looked young with messy, dirty blonde hair and a green shirt with light brown pants. He walked towards me and I realized what had just crossed my mind. Color. He came up to me and got the straight jacket off with ease. Almost as if he had done it before. He waved his hand gesturing for me to follow. I did as he suggested and dropped the straight jacket on the chair and followed him. It was as if he was controlling me. I couldn't pull myself back to the room. My legs just kept walking. We walked down the narrow hallway silently. The hallway had little color with it, with a little lighting. He turned into a room at the right. The door opened silently and I walked in. He shut the door and the lights flickered on. I looked around dimly. And, so, and I saw things that I didn't even know would be at this place. On the shelves were hooked knives were stained, that were stained with blood and large ridges on the sides and tubes connecting to a big machine that had a sign next to it. It said body compressor. I turned to ask him where he took me and saw him staring back at me with a wide smile and dark eyes that mocked me. His eyes were wild with excitement, unblinking and mocking. They made me crazy how they could be locked in the same, terrifying position, staring, mocking. I felt a trickle on the side of my face. I touched it and saw blood on my fingers and realized that my other hand was the knife with new and fresh blood on it. I fell to the ground and closed my eyes. I could still feel that mocking smile and onside eyes. Then I realized that was Zach. Darkness again. Well, if you guys liked that, um, please subscribe, and, um, Zach, I was talking about Zach in my video, he's, uh, what's his name, I forgot, I haven't hung, hung out with him in a while, it was Red Attack 360 subscribe to him, and a special shout out to the J and G twins, and, um, Erica Just Stop, those are both my cousins, I've been hanging out with them for the past about week, and, yeah, that's basically it. That's the only reason why I haven't been making so many YouTube videos. But now I'm home, and I'm back into making YouTube videos. So I hope you liked it. See you later.